Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'll cover three flying heroes from Fire Emblem Birthright, Scarlet, Reyna, and Kyle Dory, and cool ways they could be implemented in heroes. Giving them all personal weapons, because that's more fun. I will be only using skills already in the game for the rest of their kits though. So Scarlet joins as a Reaper Mode Weapon Lord, equipped with Killer Axe. She has pretty good attack, speed and skill, and defense, and pretty low resistance. The personal skill is in extremis, granting a Scarlet extra crit rate when she's at low HP. Scarlet is not very hard to translate to heroes. He does usually use the special slot to represent critical hits, meaning Wrath basically grants extra crit and crit damage when on low HP. So Scarlet's weapon having the Wrath effect to represent her personal skill makes a lot of sense. For the rest of her kit, first she needs a special. For this I give her Dragon Fang or Dragonic Aura as heroes like to do with Wyvern Riders. And I'd also give her Brazen Attack Defense for her A slot, and Vantage for the B slot, to keep the theme of getting stronger when on low health. I think this combination of skills could make a pretty tanky Scarlet that deals a lot of damage with the special triggers. Now Reyna joins as a pre-promote Kinchi Knight, equipped with an Iron Jumi and a Steel Naginata. He has good attack and speed, but low defense and resistance. And unlike Scarlet, her skill stat is pretty mediocre. Her personal skill is Morbid Celebration, killing Reyna every time she kills an enemy when initiating. In Fire Emblem Fates, Bow, Magic, and Tigers are included in the Weapon Triangle, with Bows having advantage against Lances and Tigers, and disadvantage against Swords and Magic, just like Axes. So I think making Reyna a Green Archer would make sense. And in Heroes, we already have weapons that heal after combat, like Forsyth's Soul Lance. So I think we can basically take that same effect and apply it to Reyna's weapon, adding the effectiveness against Flyers, of course. For the rest of her kit, Reyna makes great use of Attack Speed Push, as her weapon will help her stay healthy to keep getting the extra stats. For the last skills, I give her Breath of Life and Northern Sacrifice, mostly as a way to translate the Amaterasu skill that Kinchi Knights learn. I think this could be a cool Reyna, hitting very hard while staying healthy and healing allies. Now Kyle Dory is a child unit, daughter of Tsubaki. She's based on Cordelia from Fire Emblem Awakening. She joins as a Sky Knight with an Iron Naginata. Her stats depend on her mother, but she'll usually have high speed and skill and low defenses. Her personal skill is Prodigy, which lets her deal extra damage to opponents with higher attack than her. We already have some weapons that care about the opponent having higher attack. There's Selina and Subaki, who get a buff when they're weaker, and Henry, debuffing opponents with higher attack stat than himself. I think Subaki's effect would be very good for Kaldori, and keeping the golden reduction too, to represent her high skill stat. So if you think of getting plus 3 to every stat, Kaldori would get plus 6 to attack and speed, as she's mostly an aggressive unit. Now for the rest of her key, I give her Gale Force for the special. It is not one of her base skills in Fates, but it's a nice reference to Cordelia in Heroes. Sky Knights in Fates have Darting Blow as a skill, so I think she could have Darting Blow here too, though it's not very exciting. And for the last skill, I'd give her Joint Home Speed. So Kyle Dory can buff allies here, just like Falcon Knights can with their Rally skill in Fates. I think this could be a pretty cool Kyle Dory, doubling most enemies and abusing Gale Force just like Cordelia. And that's what I would do for these three. It is mostly based on my experience using them in Fates though, and if you have any other cool ideas about how they could be translated to heroes, please tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching the video! Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing, it always helps me. Here you can check out my schedule for the week. You can follow me here to see when I post new videos. And here you can find some of my other videos. Or you can go to my main YouTube page where I have everything organized. I really hope you enjoyed and see you next time!